Hey guys, Ben Hart here with Natural Music, and we are going to learn three different levels or styles of an intro to the song Glory to His Name. So we're going to learn one basic one that you can learn real quick that's going to go along with the demo track. Um, and I'll play that real quick for you, and, um, and then we'll go over the other two. So the first one is... That's the basic one. Um, and then there's kind of options on that G, C, G, and we'll go over how to play that here note by note in just a second. We could go, or we could go, for those of you who can handle it, I about can't handle it, couldn't do it. Um, and we'll go over how to do that, and then we'll do a completely different one that's more of a single note and light, kind of jazzier, but quartet style still. the cross okay so let's talk about those three different ones let's learn the basic one first and there's nothing wrong with this basic one i mean it's perfectly sound and, and professional sounding so here we go we're going to do this little walk up we're going to go we're going to do a rolling of a, a g chord with a d octave so d octave with g and b in here if you can reach these in here it's best if you can't and you can reach one that's fine too but if you can get these let's do it roll down real quick an octave E, G, all right? So while we're doing that, in the left hand, we're going to go from C sharp to D. We're going to go, when we're rolling down, we're going to, and then hold it down while we're hitting E, G, and then we're going to go, all right? So G chord down here, D, G, and B, and then we're going to do a B up here with one of the notes of the G chord, a D, and we're going to go, they're an octave G while still holding this G down here. And then we're going to hit this G again with the octave B and D. All right? So we got. Now we're going to go to a D7 chord. Um, so D, F sharp, um, A, and C. All right? And then we're going to fill in the notes of a D chord up here. So octave A, D, and F sharp. All right, and then we're going to go octave G, and we're going back to a G chord, so we're going to go octave G up here, but with a B in there. And let's add the D, too. So G, B, D, and G with octave G down here. And then we're going to go octave C down here, because we're going to a C chord, but we're going to hold the octave G up here and fill in the C note. So C, E, and G, but we're going to add the uh, other G down there below. And then go down another octave and hit... G and pulse it. We're going to go back to a G chord up here, octave G with B and D. All right, so we got. I hit a few fat fingers in there, but you get the idea. One more time, nice and slow. Okay, now the first variation of this we're going to do is we're just going to play with the end where it goes. G, C, G. So we could go. So we go. Okay. So all we're doing up here is octave G, and we're kind of rolling it. Not rolling it like this, but just kind of arpeggiating it, maybe is the right term. G, D, and B. Octave G, and then uh, D, B, and G again. So it's like we're just rolling it straight down, but the first one's an octave. It's like we're going G, D, B, and D. Or I'm sorry, G, D, B, and G, but the first G we hit the full octave. And then we hit the octave G again and fill in C chords. And then G, B, and G. So, then with the octaves down here. All right, so there's one nice little variation that you can add pretty easily. And then there's also, to hold the G chord down here, you can do it octave, you can go. But I'm gonna keep the chord down here and go D, G, and B, I'm gonna go. And then go up here to C, E, G, and C, and then come down back here to G, D, G, and B. So you're gonna go. Then up here, we're gonna go. Ah. All right, and then at the end of all these to get into the song, so we do a C with an octave D down there. Down at the cross, so after we cut, 
down at the cross, so it'd be like down at the cross, or everyone Ben from natural music thank you so much for watching this video if you would like more of these free lessons there's a couple different ways you can do it one you can subscribe on our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that way you'll be notified every time um, we put up another free lesson also you can sign up for our free uh, email list and we will send these straight to your inbox and you'll have access instantly after you sign up um, to our free lessons page and I think there's over a hundred lessons on there as of today and so um, enjoy that don't need your credit card number nothing just sign up for completely for free and for those of you that want to take it a little bit more serious you can head over to naturalmusicstore.com and have access to everything that we have there's all different types of courses for different skill levels that will teach you how to play gospel music um, southern gospel music um, for your church or for your group or if you're just wanting to better your playing and do it for your own enjoyment um, there's lessons there um, from other artists um, you know some of my favorite artists have put out a few different lessons with this and I think more of that is going to be coming so we're excited about that but if you would like to become a paid member there are hundreds and hundreds of free lessons all the way from solos a lot of accompaniment there's random lessons on there where we just talk about licks and tricks and rhythmic things and just all kinds of stuff in this style so if you enjoy the southern gospel style of playing and you want to further your playing to the next level, go over there and become a subscriber to the website. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at your next lesson.